might have just changed my mind. I don't know how exactly I'm getting out of this driveway. Yo guys, I'm still at home right now because the roads are insanely bad. You guys saw me clean my car off. I couldn't even move my car out of the driveway because there was like two feet of snow behind my car from where the plow pushed it. And apparently the roads are really bad towards going to Alyssa's. So I stayed here. I am waiting for the sun to come out and see what it's like. Maybe I'll go there later. But for right now, all I've done is record the Q&A video from yesterday's, two days ago's video. I got it edited, it's going up, and I'm looking at some FameBit sponsorships. It's uh, not looking too promising for FameBit. Nothing I really am interested in doing a sponsorship for. So uh, yeah, that's kind of irrelevant. So let's just get on with the day. All right, my dudes, this is attempt number two. It has been two hours and my car is now covered in another three inches of snow. Alright, so, uh, well, it's time for a, is that zoomed in? Oh, it was zoomed in. That sucked. Um, yeah, it's time for a cold start, I guess, and I don't know if it's gonna start or even get out of here. Look at this chair, watch it shake. Basically what's going on here is I got a whole ton of snow or slush stuck inside of my tires because the way a tire goes on, it's kind of shaped like, like this going on the outside of your car. So there's a big hollow inside part where the brake can go. So it would have filled up with snow when I was driving around last night and then it would have froze right to my car this morning and last night when I wasn't driving it. This is, it sits down, it settles down in the bottom of the, the tire, it freezes, and then it, it shakes when you drive. You ever used a video game controller and then it vibrates and you get hit or something? Well, if you took that apart, you would see that there's a little motor that spins, but it's got a weight on it. But the weight's just set off to one side and then there's nothing on the other side. So it's off balance and it shakes, it vibrates. That's the same thing that's happening with my car right now, just with all four wheels and a lot bigger. It's kind of a really crappy situation because I can't park my car inside to let it dry off and I can't get to the inside of my wheels to get that cleared out. So I'm just kind of SOL sitting here and my car's like Look at the quality of this road, yeah. Just so you guys know, that slush is at least six inches high. And I am stuck as in here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lissa's got a few hills in her subdivision and then I couldn't make them up it unless they left it at like 7,000 RPM in second gear so that the tires would heat up the pavement to like, you know, melt the snow. So I'm finally here, but I don't think my car's leaving here when I want it to. Hey guys, it's me. We're gonna go to Dylan taking a nap. Say hi, hi to the vlog so they know that I was here. Thank you. We successfully got unstuck very quickly and easily. It only took one back and forth. I'm 
All right, guys, so I have just been doing the keychains right here. I've got like number 14 done out of 100, and I've still got the rest to do. I don't have any more paint sticks to cut up to make keychain. I think that's enough to fulfill the orders that I've got from the videos so far. Two videos, and I've sold like 20 or 25 of them. It's crazy. You guys want to check that out, there will be a link in the description. It should be the first link. It'll be like merch link keychains and that'll only be up until all of these are sold. I'm not gonna delete that, like the link just won't work. So if you guys want one of these, there's only 100 of them and it's just kinda just seeing how merch works. I've never sold merch. I tried it out and there's 100 of them. They're all numbered. The number that they are out of 100, so this is number one, like, you know, et cetera. This is number 14. And I'm working on my initials so I can like sign posters and stuff. I'm like leaning towards something that looks kinda like a snail like that. It's kinda difficult with the letters DT. Just trying to figure it out. Eventually I'll get there. The one thing that I've been worrying about with this is shipping. I want to put these in envelopes, and if you look at it, I would put this in the envelope this way. So it's, it's not thick, it's like a couple pieces of paper thick. That would be fine. The problem comes in where I put this loop through. It won't lay flat. Now the width of this is like that big, and I can't put it in an envelope. The reason I wanted to put it in an envelope, the reason for that was that the shipping would be super cheap. I think I charge, I charge like six bucks for these, and then three dollars shipping, and that's Canadian, so it's like less in American dollars, if you're wondering. So anyways, it's like under ten dollars Canadian, this is to your house, and I wanted to keep it super cheap. And for three dollars, I think I can send an envelope. I don't know, I might have screwed myself over on this, I haven't shipped any of these. But I think for about three dollars, I can ship an envelope with this in it anywhere to the States. And the problem was it was too wide. I came up with this idea right here where it's now flat. This is just another piece of wood. But I took this piece of wire and I wrapped it around. So now it's got another loop. Like you've seen keychains where they've got that extra little tiny ring. Well, I didn't have any of those little tiny rings, so I just made my own out of copper wire. That one's a little tight and it doesn't like to like jingle jangle as like as much as a regular keychain should, but I will make the other ones a little bit bigger. Guys, I haven't really got much footage filmed today. I didn't really do much that was film worthy. I have been working on those keychains though, so I have been working on those keychains a whole bunch though. So if you guys want one and there's still some available, click on the link, the first link in the description. It'll say merch, keychains, click on that. You might be able to get one still. There's only a hundred of them. And I think I'm just gonna carry this vlog on tomorrow because I filmed the Q&A this morning. So I actually did do something. I got a video all done today. So I'll just carry this in on to tomorrow's video if any of this is actually irrelevant. Just jamming out. I am super hungry. My belly's going wah, 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 wah. So I'm gonna go get some food and then go to school because today is the first day of school in 2018 because we didn't have it yesterday because it was snow day. I mean, I could have technically went, but why would I? Yeah, so I think I think that's about it. Like, I'm ready to uh, get going, go to school. Get some stuff happening and stuff. Got on my green sweater. Oh, <laughs> it's over here. You guys know it's weird? I keep getting hungry to the point where like my tummy's like and then I don't feel like eating because it hurt. And then it's just hard to figure out what to actually eat that's not gonna hurt my stomach. But once there's food inside me, then it's all like, let's eat anything! And then uh Well yeah. Time to go to school! Just I don't understand why my car has to be covered in ice all the time. I really think it'd be cool if I could park it inside, then I wouldn't deal with this. Okay, we're gonna drive through now. My car sounds like it's gonna f***ing die. I'll just turn it off so that everybody else can hear themselves think. Should probably get some monies out so that I can pay for this. Can I take order please? Could I get a sausage breakfast wrap with regular mayo instead of chipotle? You said just the plastic one, right? Yeah, just the sausage, yeah. And you want mayo, okay. And um, medium black coffee, please. No thank you. Thank you.
guys. I'm going to show you the shop that I work in uh, when I'm at school. So now I got my like ear protectors on. This is how I wear them when I'm not actually like doing anything super loud. And uh, so I'll just kind of do like a walk around this room and show you guys uh, where I actually work. So I got the chance to be in here alone where it's quiet just for probably like a half hour so I can actually film this. The rest of the class is over doing book work and stuff. So this is the giant table saw. I think it's like I think it's a 16 inch when you actually want it to be. Big blade, planer, you could send things through and make them flat and parallel to the other side. Another smaller table saw, some sanders, band saws, love this band saw. A giant jointer, so this is what you'd use to make like boards kind of like square to the edge. So you run things through that once, then this, then that again, and then this one more time, and then you'll have a perfectly good board and it'd be square all the sides. Giant saw, that'll cut like 18 inches. Couple lathes, so I turn stuff on here. That's the lathe I made my first bowl on. Over there, big huge sander, I use that for shaping stuff. Miter saw, tiny spindle sander for small things. Glue up tables so you can glue up big panels. All of uh, the pile of wood that I left here before the break that I initialed because I didn't want people to take it. And then drill presses, router, so that you can like router things. That's the same bit that I left in there. Sharpening stones for sharpening stuff. Another drill press, scrap wood storage, and wood storage. So that's just about everything that's in here other than maybe the tool cabinets. Really big shop, it's awesome. There's not that many students in this class, so it's, it's like I can use any machine I want whenever. And I don't know if you guys have wood shops like this at your schools, probably not. This is actually a really big wood shop uh, that's been here since like the 50s, I think. I don't know what to say. Like, it's just an amazing opportunity that I had this. We also have a metal shop next door that's the exact same size as this. Like, this is huge. Same deal there. Like, a couple engine lathes, machine engine lathes, I think that's what you call them, that are huge. We've got an auto shop, so that's really cool. Uh, basically, I could take my car in there and then it's free labor. So I'll go get parts from like Pick and Save, which is like a scrapyard. There's a video of me doing that somewhere. And uh, I get a part there, bring it to school, they put it on, and it's just it's super good. And you know, maybe you're, you guys, you guys have an auto shop at your school, maybe they do that and you don't know about it. So it's always worth like being friends with teachers because you get things like that. The auto shop teacher was actually my first real wood shop teacher here. All the teachers are super nice at this school. But I think they are at most schools if you actually show initiative to do stuff. So that's something to keep in mind is just like show initiative to do things and then ask for help. Like teachers are so willing to help you get to what you need to do and reach your goals if you just ask for help. So I'm in here making these keychains. I was making the first ones out of paint sticks. People were saying that that was eco-friendly and stuff, but I realized it's not because for me to use paint sticks, they haven't been used for paint. They were, I couldn't actually wood burn on them. They'd have toxic paint on them. So really things were getting machined into paint sticks. They were getting driven however many thousands of kilometers to end up at uh, home hardware for me to go get them to cut them up to use them as something else. So it's not really helping the environment whatsoever. So what I'm doing, I don't know if you can see it on this table over here, I'm taking just a piece of rough lumber that came from a very local sawmill, so I'm supporting the local economy here, machining that down in this room to these dimensions so that I can wood burn on that. And it's actually maple, so it'll be a lot stronger and sturdier than these. Uh, I just need a thumbnail here, so let me take that. So I just think this is so cool, like I mean, when I first walked in this room, I was so in awe about how big it is, like the ceiling lights, you got the natural light, then you've got these really bright lights, and I just really like all the orange dust shoots that go up into the ceiling. I think it's so cool, I really want a shop this big. You've also got the 12 by 12 door that you can bring things in and out of. We built a whole shed in here last year and just wheeled it right out the door. It's just awesome. Definitely want something this big. Bigger door though, I want an 18 by 18 on my shop, which means I think I need bigger ceilings. Yo, like I could so teach things, I could be like, grabbing the chalk and be like. Math. 
and uh, just some OG parking right here, right beside the door to the shop. I'm not supposed to do that, but they can't stop a seven. Let's see, you got something that I gotta work on for Alyssa today, gotta get that done, and uh, here's the book right here. It says Dylan Taylor on it. Just be weary though, don't ever steal that book from me or I will find you, and I will Liam Neeson you. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you are looking for a ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. What I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. If you let my daughter go now, that'll be the end of it. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. So guys, I've just been sitting here going through my idea book and uh, came across a bunch of new ideas that I had from a long time ago that I just didn't, I couldn't do because I didn't have the right stuff going on. I didn't have the right situation at hand. I'm planning on doing a Draw My Life because I watched Tanner's like a long time ago and I thought that it was, it was a really good way to connect with the people watching and so I'm kind of taking that idea but at the same time it's just going to be my life so it's the same as doing like a 24 hour challenge. All the YouTubers have done it but do it yourself it's it's a different way I don't know what I'm trying to say but I like the idea and I'm going to make it my own at a hundred thousand subscribers I'm going to do a draw my life don't know how I'm gonna do it maybe I'll do it on a chalkboard or something if that's what you guys would like I'll do it on a chalkboard I haven't really ever talked about my childhood other than it was kind of bland and normal so you guys will be able to be closer with me after I can tell you all the things that I've either done went through or experienced okay man that took absolutely forever I just wrote down all the ideas that I had on my phone into this book into this book and uh yeah so i've got like so i got like you know 20 pages of ideas here and they're all like tiny little fonts so i got a lot of ideas but if there's anything you guys want to see me do or if you guys have any ideas that you think would make a great video let me know in the comments down below now while you're scrolling down to the comments make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the post notifications bell hit that bell right now Welcome now, and my hat sunk down. It's time to get some more food. Don't know what I'm gonna eat. Hi, Ben. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Uh, what should I have for food? Today we're gonna do improvised snack showcase. Okay. Have some apple sauce. Okay. You broke it. You broke the condom. No. You broke the condom. You're gonna be pregnant. Not like I'll ever need one of those. What? Oh. Oh, because you're already pregnant. Guess what? We are making t-shirts. I am hand making the first batch of t-shirts for the merch. You guys will see that in a vlog, and I need to do it before the end of this week because I'm getting my passport on Friday, and then we're going on a trip on Monday. So you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I truly do hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that it wasn't just a cluster crap of a bunch of different video clips. I'll try to make it as smooth as possible transitionally from yesterday to today. And uh, yeah, so I will definitely have this up at 4 o'clock instead of kind of screwing it all up like I did today, which would be yesterday for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new, please subscribe. If you already subscribed, please share this video with a friend. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. See you guys all next time. Peace out.